All right, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and those who've been watching my videos. Well, welcome back to the Other Walls Archaeologist Edition. Well, welcome back to the Other Walls. Other Walls. Uh, that has the Echoes of the Eye edition on it. Uh, apparently, I'll be mentioned that Echoes of the Eye is apparently the small subset of the full game, and I still have no idea what it's going to add in the in the game because of course I'm still new with game and such. Um, the reason I'm starting at the menu is that because I'm still unsure what my ex what the new expedition is going to bring me in because I didn't feel like saving at the auto save bar or checkpoint or something. I don't know if that exists in this game but uh, I'm gonna have to see what's up. Oh yeah. Apparently that's that starts me a new expedition. Oh yeah, I think that is that it is huh? Oh no, barely it is. I gotta have to redo the whole thing again. Apparently I have to. Unbelievable. Oh god. So my progress all the way up there doesn't get saved because I started back up here. That's the thing, right? Unbelievable. Okay, okay, I think that's why. I know that requires me some lunch code that I have to go to. And um, yeah, apparently we are actually one of these creatures. Or one of these species, rather, we're not human. We have four eyes as well. That's something that I didn't really point out about uh, previously. Oh, it's possible to doze off. <laughs> but I cannot press anything there, so yeah, there's, there goes that. Uh, last episode, we encountered. Well, I mean, a little bit of history. And. We also played the Zero G air, uh, cave there as well, and playing hide and seek, seek with our trusty sectoscope. I. Oh, that's the... That's the wind part. There shouldn't be any problem there. Okay, well, alright. I'm just gonna start from the beginning again. What if I chose all system go in this one? Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight reentry grad aluminium alloys, you know. Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from the hot belts at the observatory. Something like that. How safe would you say this thing is? Oh, it's a perfect 10, unless you're factoring in pilot error, in which case it's about 4. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> That's fair. I uh, I should try to learn how to do the mass method thing, I believe. So hey, let's try that. Not too hot, not too shabby. Is that a good one? I don't know. At least I think our character doesn't spit it. Or so what I think. Yeah, our character doesn't spit it, I think. Let's say I actually got it. Alright, let's put away that. Okay. I thought we were gonna have another talk or something. That is not about space. How's the ship looking? Great. Hey, you might kick, kick out of this. I've repurposed the space. I'll see time to be used as an extra combustion chamber. What does that do? Well, it's all very conceptual, but basically, it's like taking a regular second stage booster and strapping a bigger rocket onto it. Isn't that great? 
I'd think so. Alright, we should really try to uh, fly this small model here and be successful at it. Hey, Chu! Slate said you're passing over the ship today. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going! You better be! It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try my mothership? Slate says it's just like a real thing, only less likely to set a fire. Sure. Wait, how do I do that again? Oh yeah, this is the one. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to set a fire. Trying to land on one of the chaser poles. Okay. Let's see. Uh I'm not gonna suck at this one, alright? So, up. Oops. Oh, wait. Is that. Oh, oh! Wow! Come on. <laughs> I did manage to land, but it's still starting fire. So that's not too perfect, is it? There you go. How about that? <laughs> is that how it is? Wait, or do you mean like we should go to one of the chaser part then? Is that is that what you mean? Maybe not. Oh god, that's not looking fancy at all. Whoa! I'm totally not flying. <laughs> Are you okay? That doesn't look okay. But hey, I'm flying using D button. Oh god. Whoa! Oh god. Christ. I think I just managed to screw that one up right, eventually. Oh god. Oh god! Oh! Oh! That kinda looks cool. If not unsafe. Look at that! Wow! Okay, let's just get out. What a landing! I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Oh! That brings the appraisal, apparently. I'm actually surprised. Despite me screwing up at the end of it, but. I think that still counts as a surprise. Why are you leaving out the sick adventure, Mosa? When you return, it's you, me, and Kosan. Open up the bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Another metaphor ruining the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck! Okay, enjoy your travels. Thank you. I don't wonder is there anything else that I can do here. Maybe just to know about the planet structure with this camera, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's our area there. That's the sun. Just passing by. Yeah, that explains. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of bro out of it and broke my arm? Oh yeah. That tree has got it coming. If you swing by the moon, say it is good for me. Adorable. Oop. I haven't been here, I don't think. I'm just gonna have to just settle down and look around the uh, structures and such. How about I get lost by the time I come here? But not that it's uh, visible for me to do anything doable stuff here. So yeah, that does make me wonder though, can I actually save here? Like, maybe eventually? Uh, before I go to the observatory? I probably should have done that first, should I? Because now it feels like I have to do anything else before going.
Chet's drum, Rebex banjo, Gabra's flute, Fats bass harmonica. The harmonica there. Signal scope, signal scope, signal scope. Is it possible for me to go down there? Like, and like try to go back? I think it's possible, but yeah. Hello. Okay, only hide and seek. And other wild ventures, okay. So I haven't been able to change my signal scope frequency to other things. So that's gonna be for later, I believe. Oh, oh. oh. yeah, that's Galena. You found me. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't ju tried jumping here. Yeah. Is that going to? Oh, ooh, that's quite a shortcut. And I take not that's it. Uh oh, we've got. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't fall anywhere else. Hello, <laughs> just passing by. Don't mind me. Oof. Hello. Oh, it's Tefra. Right. Got me! But on the last one, I win! I promise you'll barely be able to get back from the space, okay? You gotta! It's a nice line there. Water. Refreshing. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> I'm fine! I'm just falling. Maybe I didn't have my ankles hurt, but that's quite a fall still. Regardless, I'm fine. I didn't break my bones, I hope. Jesus Christ. Still a fall regardless. Uh, okay. Is it supposed to go up here? Oh, oh well, I'm just sliding. <laughs> no problem. Alright, I wanna I wanna finish this dude's story. Gap, huh? Today goes some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabriel said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabriel out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear the stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back at you. Thank you! Fishing song, fishing song. Jeez, I think my bait is wrong. What are you up to? I'm looking for hornfells. Oh, then. I'll bet today's hall there in the observatory. Not that I've got anything yet, but if I had, I'd definitely bet it. Hornfells is pretty much always in the observatory. Hornfells, okay. I see a name. What are you up to? Nothing. That's nice. I'm planning to do a lot of that later. <laughs> then I think it's good. Especially if you plan not to do anything else after that and such and such. I want to fix the... God, be the stars. I love it. Okay, so before I go to Cedar G Cave, I want to find out if it's possible for me to what was it to read stuff and such. Danger inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible in the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Oh, okay. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself falling around Hornfells. Huh? Where's this camera? Okay, but if this button's to take snapshot. Is there really anything there? I do see some sort of aurora there. That does seem ghostly, isn't it? I don't know if it's going to hurt me or something, but I want to talk to Arcus. Hey, astronaut! You know the patch of ghost matter inside his fence? Because inside, it used to be bigger when they were hatched because matter evaporates. It just takes a 
super long time to go away. <laughs> okay. I understood Ghost Manor in this village when I was growing up. Ghost Manor is awesome. Ghost Manor is super super it'll bring the heck out of you. <laughs> You know Ghost Manor is how Tech Tide lost their food, right? Whoa, really? That is so cool! <laughs> oh, really? Is that your response? You wanna leash your favorite this thing? I don't know what that is. Hmm. I'll have to try to throw something with it. But can I hurt that I don't have to jump there? As much as tempting it is. It's cool that little scouts can detect ghost matter and all, but what will be really cool is if the little scout could like shoot ghost matter at stuff. All pew pew pew! <laughs> yeah, it seems like it isn't. Ooh, this is high. They want to risk stuff. Oh, that's Moraine. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are! My cinescope is set to the other wild ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the traveler's music. Last night I heard a really big banjo coming from the Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Cinescopes are cool. I can attest that, yes. Hello again. Haven't you been it up in this tree for a while? I'm concerned Mar will cut down this tree if there's no one in it, so I don't want to leave it for too long. Major Rutal says Mar isn't supposed to cut it down, but I don't think they see eyes to eyes on this one. Um, I'll still watch your lunch though. I'll have a good view from up here. Okay, it's still the same conversation. Okay. Wait. Oh, hello. That's the drum. You know what? I can kind of predict end of this game we're going to be able to set all of them in sync and that'll be a good fade out credits I'm I'm just kind of call it tips for now it'll be a great one I can read this one I saw smoke coming from Yombar crater up north and figured I should go check it out you can use this scout launcher just please don't break it while I'm gone tech tight tech tight More text. Is no my ruins. Okay. I I thought I would be able to read more of it. So quantum growth crater. Oh no, where's Jason Mountains? Okay. Jason Mountains. Can, can I not use anything with it? Oh the scout launcher. Scout launcher, sorry. Then the young buck crater. Ah uh, no. Okay. Uh, Scott Launcher. Wait. So, like, I can aim the Scout Launcher somewhere? Hold on. Youngbar Crater. We should check Youngbar Crater, I believe. Wait. Hold on. Yumba craters are on there. Why is this position there? Makes me wonder. Okay, maybe we can try the launch card. I don't know if that's going to do anything to me, but. Oh, okay, interesting. That's the crater. Oh yeah, that's the smoke coming out of it. 
I think that's going to crash at the end. Okay. I really like the uh, what's the word? The accuracy of these cameras, like the and the lightness of it too. Oh yeah, I can rotate the camera too. Wait, can I really do that? No. Oh, I can rotate the camera when it flew. I think. All right, let's see this one. That's the Jason Mountains. Oh boy. I'm gonna do anything with that, I believe. You know what? That's enough fun. That'll be a long fall there. Eh? Don't feel like wanting to go there. Uh, oh yeah. Is it possible if we can like... Uh, I don't know about this honestly. <laughs> that ghost spot seems to be very, very dangerous. Oh yeah, this is the text that I want to read. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero G training set up if you want to refresh her. Go on. Uh, let's get it better of you. Right, like you were nervous for your first flight. Okay, wait. I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. <laughs> Still, I was never as green as you. That's not what Slate says. Oh, you know better than to believe a word that lunatic says about me. <clears throat> This is so I made them install a safety harness in the cockpit. Claim it will throw off the thrust to weight ratio. <laughs> Honestly, one of these days I'm gonna throw off slate thrust to weight ratio. Jesus. <laughs> so listen, this is a life which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. <laughs> now nah, I'm ready for the real deal. <laughs> Don't right, you are. Don't get yourself killed out there, you hear? Not that I put this much work into training you. <laughs> go on, go make other white ventures proud. If you change your mind about practicing ship repairs, head down the lift and into the zero G cave. Just need to maneuver over the satellite and repair each damaged area, same as you'll be doing for your ship. Okay, I'll go there anyway. Consider it that size of something crashed out of the village crater earlier that's new and different. Oh hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on firewatch with the odd scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I, I said that to take that once. Pretty how long they laugh for it, if you ask me. Alright. Finally we're off to something now. Oh, this is her observatory, is it? So I want to see other places first before we're going anywhere else. Can I really go to here and say hi to some folk here? Or maybe not? Hello, this is the uh, lever for something that I have no idea what it's for. I will probably know it eventually. We will see. Oh, there's nothing at that one. Oh, this is high and seek frequency, that's why. Oh yeah, there it is. Ah oh, man. Love the harmony. Really love the harmony. Okay. Lunch time was there. Not too far, I was just apparently...
making my way longer with all this circling route and stuff. So, okay. Alright. Where is Hornfels? We'll be careful with our step now. This is getting rather high. Uh, position wise. Hello there. Hornfels goes on Eska Feldspar Slide. Wow. Now the music gets interesting from here. Big thanks to these additional founding members of other adventures. Without whom, we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Atherington, uh, Quarty Europe the Pie, Jordan Fred, Tom Cummings, Sean Shaw Templar Farrell, Stephen Elsel, Ryan Slice of On Record. Right. Our life adventures founding members, clockwise from top left, Hornfells, goes on goes on top left ah I used to be there <laughs> okay slate and feldspar clockwise from top left that's slate there oh yeah and feldspar where are you feldspar and where's Eska? Eska was written here but for some reason they didn't mm, maybe they didn't follow the photo session our adventurers, Tim Hart's first and only space program, was funded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. First part was the first Harshian to be inten intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Tim Hart and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atel Rock. Hmm. Tim Hart. Tim Hart, Tim Hart. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelt in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet of the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although the artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this spe species came from or what happened to them. Hmm. No my. Is this? Oh no, this is Hal, not Hornfels. Hey hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch the Atlas, huh, buddy? It's a Transcendental 2 inaugural flight too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just saying, you'll be able to transcend any normal tech you want, anywhere you are. The two of us, the two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good, you've only been for, waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So, what's it that? You here to see the Nomai statue? A uh, new statue? You haven't heard? Gabriel brought it back with them from Giant's Deep, and Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it, right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real life, real life Nomai would look like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out! Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I got a little kid carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, yeah? Nomai, 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 Nomai. Hey again, what's up? Why did the Nomai make this statue? Good question. So, Gabriel found this fully intact statue on Giant's Steep, right? Well, Hornfels told me it's made from the same type of species stone as the Parsi statue. Jared broke back from the Hourglass Twins. Oh yeah, Jared. That's why when Gabriel, you know, chipped, chipped the Giant Deep statue, that stone fragment was repurposed for your ship's computer. Maybe the statue was made for storing information. Interesting. Was it something else? Where is that say the statue coming from? From the deep. Gabriel fished it out of the oceans and brought it back here for study. Obviously there's no more, there's no much about it yet, but just that it's crazy old and super tough. I wonder why the Nomai carved it. 
Apparently Gabriel went back to the jet steep to try to learn more about the statue. Maybe they'll find some answers there. Oh, apparently they came back there, okay. Oh, interesting. Mm, think I'll discover anything cool in space? Hey, you never know. Maybe you'll be the one to solve the mysteries of the Nomai. Or maybe you'll discover a new kind of rock or something. But honestly, as long as they don't end up naming a new safety equipment after you, I'm sure you'll have done a great job. Uh-oh. Was there something else? Where can I find Gabro? Gabro said they were going back to the Giant City to wherever they found that Nomai statue. One of the islands, I think. You remember Gabro plays a flute, right? Like, all the time? I bet your sickness club could find him easy. Okay. Gabro. If you do see Gabro, say hi for me. Nope, that was it. No problem, take it easy. Thank you. Not fine, Hortvels. Wow. New exhibit! The radio tower here on Timberheart was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite Unusual Vertical Orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Why a satellite? Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's the satellite thing. Taking pictures and such. The strange rock moving around this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Oh dear. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. <laughs> whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that effects is extremely creepy. Uh, do I want to... Uh, I... Oh god. Uh, oh! 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 What? What? What was... What's go... What the hell? Okay, I see what's up. The, uh... That... This is not gonna work if I were to be too close to it. Uh, I mean, too far for it. It's one minute. It's interesting. Uh, oh, here you go again. That's scary. I heard something from my right. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll step back. I. What the? Oh yeah, that actually lacks my system. That's interesting. Well, I mean a bit if you notice, know but I'm just not gonna do that much. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Okay. Oh, this is the evolution of stars, I believe. As the star's core contract, it gets hotter, causing the other layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Okay. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent even event called a supernova. Based on just observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. That's scary. That's scary. That'll be scary, actually. Um, just gotta make sure my recording is good enough. I think so far it's good enough. Thankfully enough. Oh, anglerfish! Scary anglerfish. And it's alive too, even! This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. 
Are you scared with lights? No? I think you could just... Uh, yeah. Okay, excuse me. I'm still pretty curious about this. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't step there, I believe. But yeah, what the hell. Just one stone at a time. Really interesting. If I've been here, I haven't been here. That's an interesting pattern. Hmm. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh? Can I can try it out. Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh. 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 That's really nifty, actually. That's really nifty. You can, like, parkour with this crystal. Only if you can steal it or something. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that anytime soon, though. Oh, hey, ship model. This nomad technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to our to other wild ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a, a world retrieval capability that allows astronauts to call their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts loss to the, to the depths of space. That's good. That's good. That's gonna be handy. What's this? Looks skulls. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. How many eyes do they have again? The Nomai body was most likely adapted from living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Harshans couldn't have descended from Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We have to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. It's already 12 a.m. at my case, apparently. Shouldn't be surprised. I think Hornville's way up there, I see. Aside from dwelling and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorative pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art big strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Sino Archaeological Expedition. I'm surprised I can spell that okay. <laughs> what is this? This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, hello! Oh, this is the Nomai language uh, decipher machine. Okay, finally. Hold to translate. Wow. Kasava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, what the? Fortunately, the other rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our research. Oh, okay. I didn't saw I didn't see that before I believe. Don't wonder what's up there. Oh, what the I cannot translate that? Or is that not really a thing? Okay. I thought I would be able to see what's up there. Is there something here? No? Hmm. Bit disappointing. 
Finally, we get to see up big time. Is this basically the game where we're going to die a lot? I think so, huh? Finally, Hornfels. That is Hornfels. Few map. Whoa! That's the hard glass trim. Timber hut there. Wow. Loving the map, by the way. It's very rotating. I can zoom the view as well if I want to. That's the sun. This is our solar system. I can pan the map too if I want to. I can zoom in there too to see what's up there if I want to. Hmm. Seems scary, isn't it? Especially the dark part of it. This is brittle hollow and the hollow's lantern. That looks hot by the way, I don't want to land there too. The ship is there, I'm there. Ah, that's the Adler Rock. Uh the natural satellite of Timberheart. And this is the Bramble. Oh scary there. Eh? I can't zoom in further. Oh well. This is the Howard Glass twins. Okay, that's the sun, obviously. I see, I see. And this is a real in real time too interestingly. That's awesome. I, I can read stuff here interestingly. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. I'm more yeah, okay, actually never mind. Yeah, they're indeed galaxies, like those uh the spinny thingy there. Yeah, that's definitely looking like galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I I think I need to sit down. <laughs> hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have the beginning? Wow, Hornfels. You're definitely that type of person. Alright, I think that's it. Now we can talk to Hornfels. There you are! I just finished pre flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomad Translator tool. I confess, I've been kidding all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan while you're in space? Oh boy, I have no idea. I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> ah, that's a bad, bad answer. I'm gonna have the other travelers. You're going to check with them. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see. Chert is on the Hard Glass Twins. Rubik is on Brittle Hollow. And Gabriel is on Giant's Deep. Let's check. Where is Giant's Deep, by the way? I don't see it on the map somewhat. And, well, there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even alive. Feldspar has been, long for a, has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed on the Azeroth. Oh, okay! They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nevertheless. Oh, okay. Noted. The Azeroth, eh? The natural uh, satellite of Timberheart, okay. Well then, looks like all that's life sent you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to do this. <laughs> I'm ready to die in space. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to his ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes. Uh, with Morse codes. I don't know what that is. I don't think that's Morse codes too. 
I guess it's just separated there and such. Hello again! Was it something you needed? Uh, tell me more about Feldspa. Feldspa was one of the four founding members of Otherwise. Okay, I see that along with our flight coach, Kusan, Slide the Engineer, and me. Uh, screw on control and later, the museum co-writer. I didn't work with Feldspa as closely as Slice and Kusan did. I can tell you Feldspa was absolutely fearless though. Nothing scared, nothing scared them. They spotted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspot lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspot went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long day, uh, it's been a long time since they left. Hmm. Was there something you needed? I think we've cover that one okay no thanks I'm good take care cool holy moly yeah where is Giants Deep? oh there's Giants Deep right 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 I'm blind didn't notice that there this is Giants Deep and that's the furthest as we can see really neat uh, oops. Alright, now it's finally set this one for good. That's it, eh? I'm still really interested with this one. Oh, wow! That transition, I swear. I knew when I rotated that way, it's going to appear there. Very interesting. And then you're there. And then you're there as well. What a sight. You're not gonna be at the same time three times, eh? Ooh, hello! Whoa! Duck just happened. I think I finally saved the game that way, huh? Holy crap. Where is Hal? Oh dear me, that's scary. Horn fells. Kinda want you to know what I just experienced. Hello again. Okay, still the same. Uh what was that that just happened? I'm kinda scared, mom. I think that actually saved my progress at least, so I guess that's good. Still the same, still the same. Still the same. I really don't know what just happened. Oh god! God damn it! Oh yeah, yeah, okay. God, hell, I was looking for you, kind of, but what the hell. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at the Nome statue? The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like, you mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking. No, that statue is very weird. You know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'll hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch while you're not feeling great. But hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most out of Translator 2. 
Trans is a tool. <laughs> Can't believe he's all grown up and living for space already. For real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like Rebeck. Dead fallen it for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip, just get your space legs under you. You can check out the ruins on the other rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. What's something else? Where in Giant Deep will I find Gabriel? Gabriel said they were going back to Giant Deep to wherever they found that Nomai statue. One of the islands, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an interesting lightning there. 